welcome back to my channel. This is just going to be a really short video today because I have been meaning to answer this question for a really long time, but it's kind of hard to put it into words and type it out, <laughs> type the response to this question. Uh, and the question is, how do I get those numbers in Photoshop for all of the adjustments that I make? The, the simple answer to this really is, I don't actually know. To be honest, my method for doing this and my method for doing uh, different values in Photoshop and, and uh, using different adjustments is honestly just experimentation. And the way that I do this is usually I'll test out a toning on a particular image before I do a video and I'll kind of get the tones right and what I think is going to be pretty versatile on other photos as well. And then I'll test it out on several different photos of mine just to make sure it is a bit versatile. And then I'll write down all the numbers of the adjustments that I've made. And then I'll do a video and tell you guys what the numbers are. So there's no actual magic way for me doing this and I don't just magically know that these numbers are going to be great or anything. I usually just move the sliders up and down as most other people would until I think that the image looks good or that the toning looks good and then I, I note down the numbers from that. So there's actually no like magical technique that I use to get to get those uh, numbers in Photoshop. Um, the same with Lightroom, like everything, everything is kind of technically done by numbers in Photoshop and Lightroom um, in the background kind of thing. But usually like you obviously are just moving the sliders to, to how you think the photo looks. So that is how I get numbers in Photoshop. And that's what my method is usually when I do videos. So usually I don't even pay attention to the numbers. The only reason I do numbers in videos is so people can get an exact replication of what I'm doing in Photoshop. So it's, it is exact. Um, let me know if you guys like this method or not, or if you'd prefer me to just move the sliders up and down, or if you prefer me to be like, move levels up a little bit, or move them down a little bit, or, you know, if that's something you find better to learn on, I can definitely move towards that a little bit more. Um, or if you like me to keep doing the numbers so you can get kind of like an exact um, replication in your Photoshop, then let me know if that's what you prefer as well, because I'd be interested to hear your opinions on this, because... Uh, I've had sort of mixed mixed reviews on that, I would say, um, with people, some people not liking the numbers system and some people liking it. So it's up to you guys and I'd love to hear what you guys think of it. But anyway, guys, like I said, short video today, just a really simple answer to that question. Um, if you'd like me to do any specific videos or if you'd like me to do any requests, please put it in the comments section below and I will see you next time. Bye.